first thing we need to do is open up our rack, the space saver rack, which is ideal for home use. Have to just pop this pin, pull this side out until it locks. Go over to the other side, pull the pin, do exactly the same thing. Okay, we're going to get started with a squat workout here. I have Cam working with me and uh, John and Laura are going to be our additional spotters. Before we actually start the workout, we want to make sure that a few things are taken care of within this, in, inside of the rack. The spotting tiers need to be adjusted for the appropriate height. The way we do that is have Cam step into the rack, please. And just take the bar off. And I want you to do a squat with just the bar so we can look at the height of the bar. So we have him go down and just get the height adjusted. Okay, stand up. Now in his case, we're going to have to leave the bar where it is because he's right in between the two. And we want to make sure that when he's actually doing the lift, he's not ever going to touch that bar. And that's where the spotters come in to help. Okay, Cam, put the bar away, please. But before we actually put any weight on the bar and get ready to go, I want to have uh, Cam do a squat without any weight hanging onto the side of the uh, squat rack. So he's going to grab the side of the squat rack, squat down to a parallel position, make sure that low back is locked in, check parallel, the marble test, make sure that marble would stay on that at that point, or roll back toward him. Okay, Cam, very good job. Now, as he went down, his upper shoulder girdle started to relax and move forward because he has no weight. We want to make sure that he spreads the chest real hard so that these muscles around the spine stay contracted. So Cam, if you do that one more time for me, please. Nice and tight. There you go. Very nice. Much better. Okay, stand up. Now, that's what we want you to focus on on every rep. Okay. In addition to the spotting tiers, there's two things we need to also make sure that we look at before we actually start the workout. Number one is making sure you have a belt. There's two types of belts that are available. We use the normal 4-inch belt or we use the powerlifting belt. Both are excellent. Um, in this case, when we're actually doing the workout, Cam would probably use this belt because um, this one obviously is the one that you can move a little bit better in and it's also used for clean. So if you want to get one belt, this would be the belt to get. Now, the other thing to make sure that is taught correctly is breathing. One of the big things that happens during a, a lifting session for younger athletes is they have a tendency to hold their breath. And as we are lifting with the squat, we want to look at the breathing correctly. So as we start out, we take a deep breath. On the way down, you hold your breath a little bit, get to the sticking point. As you pass the sticking point, exhale. But you have to make sure that you're breathing all the way through the range of motion. If you start holding your breath, you obviously are going to have problems. Okay, let's uh, add the weight. Cam, what would you like on there? 45. 45. Okay, getting started with the workout, we make sure, most importantly, that all spotters are working together and understand what we're trying to accomplish. At any time, the back spotter is going to be in control as far as making decisions if the, help, the lifter needs any help. The side spotters will be standing with their hands under the bar at a 45 degree angle so they can see the inside of the bar, inside the plate. Their job is to make sure that they're checking technique and making sure that cam is going to parallel. I will be the back spotter and I will have hands on the bar through the, through the total amount of reps. I do not help at all. I make sure he stays in alignment and I'm talking to him the whole time making sure his back staying tight through the range of motion. The side spotters will be talking also making sure that the depth is correct. Okay, Cam, step under the bar. The first thing he does is he puts his hands on the bar in an even position, marking the position next to the knurling. So that as he grabs the bar, when he steps under the bar, he's going to be perfectly balanced. Okay, Cam, step under the bar. Now as he places the bar on his back, notice he does not place it on his neck. It's on the shelf. That's why we spread the chest. It makes a beautiful shelf for the bar to set on. If that does not work for everybody, your beginner lifters, young people do it. This is the tool that we use called a man array, and it works great to position the bar correctly. Okay, now from that position, we want to make sure that Cam is directly under the bar. He is going to be in his athletic stance. When he lifts the bar off the rack, he stands straight up with it. 
One of the major mistakes is having this person have the butt and feet a little further out, back your feet up a little bit, Cam, and having the bar and then stagger your step. One foot in front of the other a little bit more. And lifting the bar up like that, and then the bar, puts all, the weight goes all to the low back. Very, very dangerous. So we make sure we put the, the hips straight under the bar. He's going to stand straight up with it. And back out with short, short, short steps. Good athletic stance. And we're going to do three reps perfectly. Okay, Cam, on your own, buddy. Here we go. Good. Yeah, Looks very exactly. nice. Yeah, Down on. slow, explode up. Get up. Very Stand nice. Up. Excellent. Yeah, Cam. Looking good. Good depth. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, walk it in. Make sure the spotter's hold it. Squat it down. Very nice job. Well done. For the athletes at home, most importantly, regardless of whether it's at home or at school, notice that you always have spotters. No matter what kind of rack you have, what kind of system you have, you have to have spotters. We feel that the Space Saver rack is one of the best home units simply because it is as durable and strong as any rack that we have, but it also gives you the option of being able to have a lot of space when the rack is folded up to do your cleans and deadlifts.